we've made various kind of films right. but the i think the right thing is what is exactly required to tell the story in the best way i mean there's you know things now about people's lives that you didn't know back then and actually you have no use for that information yeah. so i'll post a picture of her dog and somebody will be like z and it'll be two question 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 you know like two family that's passed you know yeah yeah it has happened you know my like deepest condolences and like wo sab chhodiye don ka kya ho raha you know what i mean like it's it's that level yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw the film and it's a beautiful lovely uh, film and it made me feel so happy so congratulations Arjun what a what a fantastic debut thanks this is this is truly a special film uh, but I would like to begin by asking like excellent and tiger baby because uh, how do you look at the year for you guys and more than that how do how are movies greenlit between the two I was wondering what's the chain of command that one follows because such interesting diverse projects and how does it go <laughs> It's a very interesting question <laughs> <laughs> Yeah yeah I, I don't know if there's any like protocol as such that's that's followed um it's i mean generally uh, one or two people who are excited about an idea and develop it mm. you know and uh, yeah and then just share it and i mean if it, yeah more often than not it feels it feels right Mm. um i think once in a while i've offered some doozies that i've been said like maybe not this time <laughs> that, that that could have happened but uh, but no there's no real system to it is there yeah there's no template yeah huh. depends i think project to project but like you yeah. saying most of the time it's somebody getting excited about an idea and then mm. onboarding everybody yeah. else kind of how did this fall in place then the four of you to begin with and then also Uh, let's begin with arjun <laughs> okay this uh, <laughs> this fell into place because arjun uh, was uh, working with me yeah. on gully boy and we were on the post of gully boy he was my da and uh, one day we were on a train journey yeah. uh, somewhere and he started talking to me about uh, the, his friends basically and himself and uh, navigating life at this age and he was 25 and i was like right it <laughs> this movie and it was interesting and basically that's where it started the germ that the was the germ that yeah. was the germ you want to take it from there no i think that <clears throat> that was the idea so it was just it happened over a conversation in a train and we're just chatting and um and yeah like zo said that sort of sparked off the idea um i wrote a first draft showed it to zo and rima they said chuck it in the dustbin <laughs> uh, start from scratch and then we all got involved and then it sort of went back and forth and it just kind of developed into this into what it is you know rachi can you tell me i mean of course uh, the tiger baby in excel they they sort of mentioned about their chain of command uh, what ticks the boxes for you at netflix when when a project is offered or comes your way what what exactly are you looking for there great question um i would like to say tiger baby excel and arjun mm. they tick the box but uh, i think it's just the strength of an idea the strength of a story and we'd like to believe that we genuinely are the platform for the most veteran filmmakers like zoya vishal ji and sujoy and then we've got new storytellers and i think that's really what keeps the slate very fresh and mm. very diverse and like you rightly said at the start i think when we uh, came on board and saw ko gaye hum kaha and we creatively worked in it together and we collaborated so well um we realized that this is such a personal story and that made it so authentic and uh, it's only when the lens is so new and so fresh that hmm. a personal story become universal hmm. so i think we were on board we were excited it also spoke to friendship which yeah. is a theme that you know all four of them here have just aced and uh, we'd like to believe that on the back of dil chahta hai zindagi na milegi dobara kho gaya hum kaha comes with uh, no expectations but uh, just hopefully all the love that's come for the other film you know ritesh i was wondering like from a producer's point of view tell me when you when when you read a script uh, is is it impossible to not look at i mean of course this is for a streamer but will this work how many numbers can this get i mean does does the producer's mind not work in that direction ever no i mean in terms of you have to first look at the script right, right. i mean in terms of what is right for it what is the audience for of course everybody like you know you'll make we've made various kind of films right. but the i think the right thing is what is exactly required to tell the story in the best way mm. right so it, it 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 that is the process you follow and then you can go back and work around okay if you're going with a, like a theatrical to this and this is your expectation mm. of what this film is but it has to be made as per what that script actually requires so it all boils down to that mm. right and that's what we've been doing always i mean right from dil chahta hai to every single film we've made hmm. i think just follow the same process but i mean 
but as a, I mean, to be honest, we tell this to most people. I've said it many times mm. before that it's inherently so unpredictable that you can't sit and do it as a business. <laughs> so if anybody says that I want to do films for business, you should not do it mm. because it there is nothing. I mean, you, there's nothing sure in it. Mm. You know, in terms of you have to go with your gut, your feeling, mm. and if you emotionally feel connected to it, you believe in these characters, and there is a strong voice behind it, you should go ahead and do it. Mm. Then. Hopefully, your vision will be shared by everybody else. Uh, you know, Ritesh and Farhan, I, I believe if I'm not wrong, you guys go way back. Like, I think you studied together, you've been friends since then. School. School. With what? Zoya as well. We were all in school together. <laughs> what yeah. is it like growing up, the three of you? What was, what was the mood like and what was the friendship like? I think Farhan and me had no choice. <laughs> 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 we just had to, Ritesh we chose. <laughs> Thanks. But, <laughs> what we, we, says like? what we feel about him than each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just take me back in time, like. No, you know, it was quite. I mean, we were, we keep saying this, like you know, like at that time, like without having cell phones. I'm saying now. I mean, of course, mobile phones came in when we started making films in the early years. But yeah. there was a time when you would actually pick up the phone and call up somebody, and everyone was on time. Every yeah. single person, like you would go to pick up somebody, you, know, you would call him from the landline and say, I'll see you at 9 o'clock, at 9 o'clock you would be there. Now, with cell phones, very easy, I'm stuck in traffic. Yeah. yeah, you live in the city, you know there is traffic every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, so, but that's the other I mean, thing. I mean, the, it's also the amount of information that goes into your head that you don't need. Yeah. You know, there's that information overload as well. Absolutely. I mean, there's, you know things now about people's lives that you didn't know back then. And actually, you have no use for that information. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just all this kind, there's also the load of that. Mm. Having too much information about things that you don't really require. Yeah. You know, and then navigating your way through, then seeking validation. Someone else's life seems so much better than yours, mm. you know, or that they have something, or they went on holiday here, mm. or they ate at this place, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? So all those things also create a very strange opinion. Start creating an opinion about yourself. Too. Right, right. You know, so it's, there's also that with, uh, with information overload. So yeah, you? I mean, take me back. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I would say. Take me back. I mean, it was the 80s. The music yeah. was amazing. Yeah. And yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'd go back to that period. Yeah. yeah I mean, you knew where your friends were when you saw their cycles parked, out, parked outside that building. Yeah. That's how you knew. Yeah. You know, but I was wondering while watching the film, though, to Ritesh and Fran, uh, what would Dil Chata Hai be like if they had Instagram back then? What would Sid, Samir, and Akash be like? <laughs> if they had Instagram back then? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but I, they definitely would have posted that Goa meme where the three of them are sitting together. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it would have been a different film, of course. Yeah. Different film yeah. that was I all think that it would available. have been Kho Gaham Kaha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it could have been, seriously. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually possible. That's true. Also, like ZNMD, for example, like these people go on this good Spain trip, I think they would have spammed the F out of it, like yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I, yeah. did you really travel if you didn't post if it? If you didn't you know? post it, what's, what's the what's point Instagram? of traveling? What a thing when we did the uh, Zindagi? It's not. A, it wasn't really a thing for me. I've gotten on Instagram like quite right. late yeah, because it didn't feature that much. Yeah, yeah. No, there was Twitter. I think I've got Twitter was. I, no. I don't think it started as big then. as that point. Yeah. That yeah. was what 2010, right? That was. I shot. It was shot yeah. in 2010. Yeah. But there was no. I mean, I, I'm on Facebook. Instagram and I got on Instagram quite yeah. late. Yeah. 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 Facebook anyway. was very. Facebook. Yeah. Wow. Facebook, Facebook and Twitter. Was very Facebook. But it had taken over. Hadn't, yes. yeah. And yeah. naturally, there was no story, Instagram story to came way late. But, but by the end yeah. of this film, you realize it shouldn't be, and you should go back to the <laughs> other. Uh, what are the happy things online that people associate with you? I mean, for sure, Excel is always Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. That was for the longest. Uh, and, and for Tiger Baby, also, it's like friendship films. But I mean, do you online see a pattern that there is the audience is associating one thing with us, and it's, it's something nice? I think it's always a sequel to something that they've liked. No? I think it's a sequel. No, I think they're different things. I think with Rima and me, a lot of it is also uh, female characters we've written, hmm. male characters, the way we look at men. Hmm. Um, uh, those are the positive compliments we get. Uh, yeah, they're expecting diverse narratives. Little, they, they think that we try different things at least. Hmm. You know? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, but those at least are the we positive try. things we get. Oh, and yeah. of course, no matter what, whatever we do. 
there will be Z and MD two. Two. Question no mark. No matter what. <laughs> so that's like our staple. Yeah. <laughs> that's like dawn for you guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. Like, no, yeah. it's crazy. So I'll post a picture of her dog, and somebody will be like Z and MD two. <laughs> question. 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 Yeah. yeah. I've, I've even got that below, like offering condolences to somebody oh, who's shit. passed away. You know, like to a family that's passed away. Yeah. Yeah, it has happened. You know, my like deepest condolences. I'm like, what's up, Chodi? A dawn? What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's that level. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, <laughs> that that was the moment I stopped reading the comments. Yeah. Nah, I'm here. Anything that you can think of, Ritesh? No, I mean, it's the, I mean, like what Farhan said. Like, I think mostly anything you do, it was that. Now, finally, with that. The dawn topic is addressed and gone. <laughs> now we wait, but ZNMD is back on the True. track. You know, True. and I'm sure after Kogayam Ka releases because it again falls in a similar oh, space yeah. of a friendship yeah. film because that's what they relate with Tiger Baby XL. That these, you know. Yeah. So I think, Zoya, wait, it'll come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know the last question then, uh, Rajiv. How, how do you look at the year for Netflix? I mean, it's it's really quite a bombastic year, if I can say. Titles have fired and it's yeah. really gone, gone all out. Uh, what's your assessment and does it feel like a party? Oh, absolutely. Which is why we're we're handing you a New Year gift in Kogayam <laughs> Kaha because it's been a party of a year. Uh, I think uh, variety and just the distinctiveness of the slate has spoken to the audience. We're so humble, whether it's been trial by fire, or Khufia, Mission Majnu, Janeja, the Archies, yeah. Railway Men. Mm. Um, it's been a supremely diverse slate. Mm. And everything spoken to someone, and mm. which is why you know we keep talking about our success looks different for every title, mm. and uh, we're just so happy that we decided to just bring Kogay Hamka and say thank you for this phenomenal year, yeah. and not to not to forget the Emmy and you know, the sure. Oscar sure. and the sure. Busan Film Festival. You know, not yeah. not plugging, but <laughs> it's been a good year. Yeah, it's been a yeah. good year.